The Neo Forza NFP075 is a brand new M.2 SSD from a brand new company onto the market. Neo Forza was founded in 2018 and it is the consumer brand of the well-known manufacturer called Key. So even though Neo Forza is a new player into the market, the manufacturer behind it isn't. The NFP075 SSD is available in capacities starting with 256GB, 512GB, 1TB and 2TB, which is the model we are reviewing today. This model has an endurance rating of 1550TB written and is delivered with a 3-year warranty from the manufacturer. The Neo Forza NFP075 has an estimated price tag of around 220 US dollars or the equivalent in euros, but that will depend on what retailer you use and if you can find the SSD available for purchase. This SSD is made for speed and quality, at least that's how it's advertised. However, what this SSD does not do is invest any type of effort into the way it looks. And I'm saying this because while the eSports NFP075 2TB, yes, it's called the eSports of all things, while it promises Performance, its design is on the same level of BASIC as an OEM bundle SSD. And this is not that bad at all, because it means that everything went into the components of the SSD and thus in the performance. The eSports NFP075 2TB has the standard 2280 form factor, and if you're new here or in this world, this means that the SSD has a width of 22mm and a length of 80mm, which makes it compatible with most if not all M.2 sockets on the market. The controller installed on this SSD is made by Fison and is the model PS5012E12S. This controller supports the PCIe Express 3.0x4 interface and both TLC and QLC type cache. The SSD uses a single DRAM chip. This is made by Unique Semiconductor and it is a DDR3-1866L chip and has a total capacity of just 512 megabytes. Not bad, however, a 1GB DRAM chip would have been so much better, especially since this SSD has a total storage capacity of 2000GB. Speaking of the memory, this SSD has 4 memory chips and these are made by Toshiba using the TLC flash technology. There is also this small chip on the front side of the SSD. This is labeled as a Fison chip and what this little thing is, well, it's basically the VRM controller of the SSD. More than likely, this is the well-known and well-used Fison PS610106-22. Installing this SSD is no different than installing any M.2 SSD. The only difference is with regards to the installation process is based solely on what system and especially on what motherboard you use. As many motherboards have integrated heatsinks that, well, some do not really like to get removed. You basically just insert the SSD into the M.2 socket and then secure it at the backside with a small screw. Please keep in mind one thing, the screw is usually included with your motherboard and not with the SSD. The first test is a basic file copy test. It's simple, reliable and offers an easy to understand graph on how the SSD performs in real time. The total size of the files being copied here on the drive is around 96GB. And for a good part of the test, the speed remained constant at around 1GB per second. However, once the cache of the SSD filled up, the speed drops to about 480MB per second at the lowest and 800MB per second at the highest. Usually, in this state, the speed will oscillate between 400 and 800 megabytes per second until the file transfer is complete and the cache is emptied. Judging by this behavior, I can safely say that the size of the cache on this SSD is around 45 to 50 gigabytes, which is not bad, but it could have been much better, especially for a 2 terabyte drive. And what happens if you say copy or transfer files that are less than 45 gigabytes? Well, the speed remains constant at 1.27GB per second, which is great to see from an SSD like this. 
The first test is Crystal Dismark 8, the most popular benchmark for all storage devices, but especially for SSDs. This software is easy to use and it's also free. Not only that, but it offers good and reliable results with all tested devices. And in this test, the Neo Forza NFP075 2TB is placed in between the Crucial P2 1TB and the Sabrent Rocket Q 1TB. And this is for the read side of the test. However, for the writing test, Things are different, as the Neo Forza NFP075 is placed on the fourth place in the graph, overtaking the Crucial P2, Sabrent Rocket Q, and the Silicon Power P34A80. Quite impressive. The next test is the Auto Disk Benchmark, a benchmark that offers a more detailed picture of the performance of each SSD. This synthetic benchmark uses multiple file dimensions to test each drive, and thus better showcase the performance of the tested SSD. And in this test, the Neo Forza NFP075 2TB is on the 6th position in the graph, overtaking the Crucial P5 and P2 and being right behind the Sabrent Rocket 1TB and the Rocket Q 1TB. But that's for the retest. The write test is a different matter, as in this test, the Neo Forza NFP075 maintains a steady performance and it's on the 7th position in the graph right below the Crucial P2 and ahead of the Silicon Power US 71TB. The next real-world test is the Game Level Loading Test, which measures the time needed for an SSD to load a particular level in a video game. In this test, the video game used is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and in this test, the Neo Forza NFP075 goes head-to-head -head with the Sabrent Rocket Q 2TB. It's safe to say that this is a great result, especially for a brand new player into the market. And what about the thermal performance of this SSD? Well, during the entire testing of this SSD, the maximum temperature reached was 76 degrees Celsius, and that was during the Auto Disk Benchmark writing test. Overall, not a bad result, but I was hoping that this SSD would run cooler. With the testing concluded, I can safely say that the Neo Forza NFP075 2TB is a great SSD. Why? Because it offers a good performance and it has a good price, at least if we base your opinion on the stated US$220 price tag. The build quality is great and the used components are of high quality. In fact, these components are the same components being used on other high-end SSDs. And we're talking about Toshiba-made memory chips, a Fizen controller and a Fizen VRM controller as well. The general, or better said, the real world performance is good, the game level loading time is close to the top of the chart, and the file transfer speed is over 1GB per second if you manage to keep the files under 40GB. However, there is a drawback here. The SLC type cache of the drive is the limiting factor, as it has a total size of around 45GB, a size which is right for, say, a 500GB SSD or a 1TB, but not for a 2TB SSD such as this one. The speed is good, but only if you have files under that dimension. If you do large file transfers, then the speed will eventually drop to under 1GB per second up until the point the cache is emptied. In terms of the temperature, there is little to write home about. The drive will sometimes barely hit its thermal throttling point, but you need to really push it for that to happen. Even so, I would have liked to see a lower temperature on the SSD, even though it comes with no heatsink. The Neo Forza NFP075 2TB is good and apart from the small SLC cache, there isn't much to complain here. And if the price is right, then this SSD can be a great choice for all types of systems, as the performance is good and the file transfer speed is over 1GB per second if you manage to keep the files under 40GB. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more, and if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below, you will find the links for both the Patreon and the subscriber star pages of this channel.